Hello Bond Bakers and welcome back to my channel. You're with Nicole and today we're gonna to be making a recipe that I think everyone should know, it's vanilla cupcakes. There's something simple and beautiful about this recipe, so make sure you get amongst it. Vanilla cupcakes are an absolute classic. Who doesn't love a vanilla cupcakes? Kids, adults, you're gonna to need to know this recipe. You know the deal, let's check out the ingredients and the things that you're gonna to need to use. We have self-raising flour, caster sugar, custard powder, some softened butter, some full cream milk and some eggs. And you can check out the full recipe at lebonbaker.com. I will also leave the ingredients in the description below for you. For your equipment, we've got a big sieve here, a large bowl, I've got some little cupcake holders, a big spoon, mini whisk, and also some cupcake tins. You will also need some electric hand beaters. Just beat it. It's time to preheat your oven to 150 degrees Celsius or about 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and then we'll start on our mixture. To start with, grab your self-raising flour. We're gonna add it to the bowl and sift it in along with our custard powder. If you're out of self-raising flour, don't worry, I do have a video to show you how to make your own, so you may not need to go to the shops. Next up, we can add in our caster sugar. Add in your eggs and the full cream milk. Last thing to go in is your softened butter. Now it's time to give this a really good beat and we're going to mix it for about 10 minutes. I'm just going to scrape down the sides and continue beating. But while I've got you here, I just wanted to show you, look how beautiful this mixture is coming together. It's got that really nice soft yellow color from the custard powder and it's already really silky smooth and going a little bit fluffy. For those batter lovers, don't eat it all yet. A little bit is okay though. After all my excitement about the mini whisk, I am a little bit sad to tell you, you don't actually need one for this recipe. Next up, I'm just going to place my little cupcake or patty pans into the little holders here. And this recipe will do more than just six, so um, I'll probably need to do this in two batches into the oven. And that just means more cupcakes. All that's left to do now is to scoop your mixture into our little patty holders here. And I like to use my one with the spring handle here because it gives me an even amount each time. But if you've just got a regular spoon, that's okay too. Or you can even weigh them out if you like. Into the oven they go. Now we need to wait and try not to eat all of the mixture. Uh oh. Look how good these look. Fantastic. So I've just had them in the oven for about 40 minutes. These little ones like to be cooked low and slow. Um, and they're also, they've turned a really nice golden color and I've checked with the skewer for doneness as well. So these ones are ready. All that we need to do is to take them out of these little tins and we're just gonna let it cool completely before we start to decorate them. And I have a lot of extra mixture here, so I'm going to keep cooking my cupcakes. There's a lot to get through. 
I've just taken my second batch out of the oven and these ones are a little bit better. I got a bit excited filling up the first ones so they overflowed a little bit but these are much nicer. So I'm gonna leave these ones to rest and cool and then I'm gonna ice as well. I just want to show you the texture of these cupcakes really quickly. So they're actually really nice and lightly crispy on top, but the inside is extra, extra fluffy. And I'll break one open for you so you can see it. It's so light and fluffy. Completely irresistible. I'm going to decorate my cupcakes here with some vanilla buttercream. And I have a video and a recipe up already for how to make this. I made it ahead of time, so I've just been letting it come to room temperature so it's nice and workable when I wanted it when I wanted to use it this afternoon. I will leave the video link in the description below for you. Now for the fun part, decorating. For the decorating of these, I'm going to keep these ones fairly simple. I'm just going to do a scoop of our buttercream here, make it look nice, um, give it a little mix, mix around with our small spatula here, maybe add a little bit of confetti and that'll be it. I will put up a video for different cake, uh, cupcake decorating ideas as well and they will be a bit more bold and fun, so I'll leave that in the description below for you. And check this out, how adorable are these little unicorn confetti. So cute. Thanks for joining me in the kitchen today. As you can see, I've got a little bit more cake decorating to do, so I'll see you again next week. If you like this recipe and video, please make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Le Bon Baker, for new videos, tips, tricks, and recipes each week. See you next week, my sugar babies. To start with, we're going to take out all, um, sorry, go again. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. <laughs>